What is up, Rams fans? This is the Rams Skinny. I am your boy, Skinny T, also known as Ryan Anderson. Uh, big news out of Rams camp, Bobby Wagner and the Rams have officially decided to part ways after just one season. Adam Schefter first reported it out, um, and he mentioned two things as uh, the reason it uh, had to happen. Rams needed cap space, and Bobby Wagner apparently wants to win. Um, that is how Adam Schefter put it on Twitter anyway. Of course, the big question there is, uh, wh what's the lack of confidence in uh, Bobby Wagner that he doesn't believe that the uh, Rams have high playoff chances or the chances uh, to win very much? But um, that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, it's the money side of things and what's going to happen going forward without Wagner on the team. Um, uh, the money part is obvious. Um, uh, Wagner's cap hit would have been $12.5 million. Um, that's up from just $2.5 million last year. Uh, that kind of money uh, would have represented 5.6% uh, of the Rams' uh, overall cap. That's the eighth highest hit on the team. Um, is Bobby Wagner worth that kind of money? Absolutely. He had a great last season. He's still one of the greatest uh uh, one of the best linebackers in the entire league. Um, but money is a harsh reality in this world, is it not, folks? Yes, it is. But even in the funny money world of Tony Pastors and his cap manipulation, it was still a harsh reality. Um, I imagine that there was lots of talk of trying to restructure this deal, um, trying to uh, move some money around for Wagner to get him to stay, but that wasn't enough. Um, he wants to win, and he wants to do so getting paid what he deserves, and he can't really hold that against him. Um, the Rams are going to lose, obviously, the play on the field and the leadership on and off of it that uh, Wagner brings. Um, but the uh, Bobby Wagner deal always kind of struck me as a bit odd. Why did the Rams bring him on? Uh, there's a few reasons uh, that it struck me as odd. Um, the Rams rarely pay big money to middle linebackers. The Rams won the Super Bowl in 2021 with the lowest uh, payroll for their linebackers in the league. That's right, the 32nd in the NFL. Uh, and they had a really good defense that year, if you don't recall. Second reason I think it's odd that they added Bobby Wagner last season was they already have a fantastic middle linebacker in Ernest Jones. Not only is, is he great, but he's young and he's cheap. Uh, he was drafted in 2021, so he's still on that rookie deal. Um, and the third thing that struck me as odd is that uh, Jones and Wagner are very similar players. They do a lot of the same things. Um, so... You know, of, of course, uh, Wagner brought a lot to the table in mentoring Jones, so you can't say it's all for loss, but um, I am a huge Jones guy. Uh, he proved to be a great player in his rookie season. Uh, he's one of the few Rams picks from the 2021 dra draft class that has made an, uh, an immediate and lasting impression on the team. Um, so he's a very impactful player. Um, so while the Rams lose the great player and the great leader, Jones now can step into that role. He can be the Bobby Wagner for this team, and I, I truly believe that he's going to step up to that. And he's learned so much from Wagner that uh, he's going to be even, even in, an, in an even better situation. So what does it mean for the Rams cap situation? Uh, there's going to be smarter people than I that will hammer out exactly what the benefits to the Rams the Rams cap situation will be um, but from what I can tell from looking at over the cap uh, just really quickly they're currently one uh, 14.9 million dollars over the cap cutting Wagner pre-June 1st saves them five million dollars in cap space that's about a third of what they need to do and like I said before Tony's Pastors is one of the best at restructuring deals and making money appear uh, so this j this just makes his job a bit easier um, I know this one stings Rams fans. Uh, we all fell in love with Wagner, um, but this is the bullet that we are biting right now. If it is any consolation, Jordan Rodrigue did tweet out that a source told her that the conversation was very positive and legitimately mutual. Um, so it ended as good as it could have. Um, there's always news coming out of this uh, Rams organization, and we here at the LAFB Network are doing our best to keep you well informed. Thanks for watching. Keep watching.